And I think finally, I must just uh, address this one issue about circumstances under which you became the chair of the, of the State Capture Commission because there was a story being, being, uh, being uh, made around that issue. When I ultimately got to meet uh, President Zuma, after he had been making remarks on this matter, saying, no, 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 why not decide? You said decide and so on. I said, Mr. President, I've heard you and your people now criticizing me about identifying uh, Deputy Chief Justice Zondo as chair of the commission. I said, there are a number of people that I've considered. I said, Desai was one of them. Uh, I don't remember whether Judge President Musi was a Judge President already or he was deputy. I said Justice Musi was one of them. We looked for him and actually Deputy Chief Justice Zondo was helping me trying to track him down. He was on his way to some conference and so on. I said uh, Justice Mtiani was one of them. Uh, there was Justice Zondi was the one we sat on for the longest time. I remember Justice, uh, the Chief Justice trying to cajole him, say, you are from a family of Amakawe. It did not work. I said, we were in his house, and I was moving around his chair like this, talking to Judge, uh, Deputy President Tiani. When I said to Deputy President Tiani, unless I asked the Deputy Chief Justice to do it, he said, unless you ask him. So I turned around and faced him and said, why can't you be the, uh, the, the chair of the commission now that we've tried so many people and none of them would accept the responsibility? So it was not a favor. No. I did nothing to facilitate this man's upward mobility. He worked his way up. May all of us who are privileged to have or to assume positions of responsibility not sit down, comfortable and hoping that the position will make you what you've never been. You've got to define a position of leadership that you occupy. It will never improve you. No. You've got to come and cause it to speak and to revolutionize the institution in which you find yourself. So, functional leadership is key. So anybody that occupies a position of authority will be watching you. I, I, I don't know whether it's Mbui, Sikjongi. No, um, but Sikjongi. So know that you'll be watched. It is more about what it is that you have to offer. Are you paving the way for others? Or are you going to be a disgrace? These people are harsh when they judge you. And I want to thank you for allowing me to say what I have said from my heart. Enjoy your rest. Avail yourself for such responsibilities as you may comfortably assume. I repeat, your wife. You and I have a pact that our wives can speak freely to another when there's a problem that seems to be irresolvable. Remember when I, was, I had a condition and my, I was refusing to see a medical doctor. As a result of that pact, my wife called you and said, your friend has got this and this uh, kind of a condition, but he's refusing to see a doctor. And you called me, explained it all, and said, you must go and see a doctor. Similarly, when there was a particular situation between you and your wife, she called me and said, this is what your friend is doing. And I freely confronted you and said, your wife has reported you to me. <laughs> so, Mam Tembu, I am here. If this man is running up and down when you've been waiting for him for so long, you must tell me. Then I will confidently accuse him of seeing another woman. <laughs>